Hey guys. So I've had a couple people ask me if I can make a video explaining how the audition process works for um, a drum and bugle corps. And yeah, definitely. I can give you some of the tips that I have and hopefully they'll be helpful. I guess the first thing that you need to do before we talk about like the camps and stuff like that would be to pick a corps that you want to audition on for. Things to consider are budget, location, shows that you like, and your skill level, of course. Those are things you can kind of figure out by researching the core that you want to audition for. You can go on the core's website, you can go on dci.org, uh, Facebook, and you can also find some good stuff on Drum Corps Wiki. I wouldn't recommend Drum Corps Planet because it's probably not the best place. Once you have a place that you want to audition for, you're going to want to register online. This is usually done through the Core's website or maybe coredata.com or whatever it's called. Once you have that done, um, you're going to want to download and print out your audition materials. And you're going to want to practice that a lot. It's better to be over prepared for your audition than under prepared at all. And practice like you're going to play it for your audition. You don't want to have bad posture when you practice something. You want to try to play with the posture that you're going to have over the summer. And that varies for every core, but again, you can probably find that out by researching them a little bit. And that brings me to another topic, and I guess this is kind of more directed towards low brass, um, baritone euphoniums, and contras. You're going to want to start working on holding your horn, because at every audition camp, there's always those um, low brass rookies who, they're in horn arc, and... One minute they're all strong and stuff, and then the next minute, and you don't want that to be you at the first camp. It might happen, but the faster you get used to holding your horn, the easier it makes the summer. And for all people auditioning anyways, usually conditioning doesn't start until maybe a couple camps later, but it's always a good idea to start getting yourself in shape as early as you can. Start running, start getting some cardio in, start eating better. Try cutting out sodas from your diet and stuff like that. And if you have any questions about your audition materials or something like that, or things you need to do, logistical things you need to do for the camp, you can email the staff of the Corps and they'll be there to help you. So moving on to the camp itself. Things you'll need. A horn. Usually the Corps will have horns that you can borrow for the weekend. They're the horns that you'll probably use over the summer. But there's always a chance that they might run out and it's always a good thing to just bring your own just in case. Some cores also let you audition on a horn that you're more comfortable on. They might let you audition on a French horn, a concert euphonium, concert tuba, or even a trombone sometimes, but sometimes they won't, and again, that's something you need to check with your core. If anything, don't forget your mouthpiece. I can't guarantee that they'll have one of those for you. You're also gonna want clean white cotton gloves. These ones aren't clean. If you don't have any, chances are there'll be someone who has some extras that you can borrow for the weekend. You're probably gonna get a lot of papers at your first camp too. So you're gonna wanna bring a three ring binder. I try to put these little sleeve things in it too. It makes things really easier when you get more music. Don't forget pencils. You're gonna wanna dress comfortably for camp too. Don't wear jeans. Depending on where you audition, they might have an audition t-shirt for you, which looks like this. Or something like that. And you're going to want to wear that the whole camp so that people know that you're there for auditioning. It might have your name on it too. The first camps are also usually in the winter, so you can bring a hoodie or track pants or something like that to stay warm, as long as you can still move in it. For sleeping, uh, you're going to be in a gym floor, most likely, so you're going to want to bring a sleeping bag or an air mattress. If you bring an air mattress, don't forget an air pump. Also, don't forget a pillow, and it'll probably be cold, so bring something warm. For showering, you're going to want soap and shampoo, one of these things if you want, a towel, and flip-flops. I can't stress how important flip-flops are. You mean I'm going to be showering with other people? Yep. It's really not as scary as it seems. Also, don't forget toothbrush, toothpaste, and deodorant. So now to the fun parts about camp. You're probably going to be really nervous when you get there. And that's completely normal. Try to go out of your way to make some new friends there. Talk to both rookies and vets. Ask what their name is, where they're from. If this is their first time auditioning for a core, when the real parts of camp start, you're going to have a lot of information thrown at you in a short amount of time, so it's really important that you stay focused throughout the whole time. If it's your first time participating in a drum corps horn line, it may seem really intimidating. Just relax. 
If you don't get something right the first time, it's okay. Just try your best. Just try not to make the same mistakes twice. One important thing to remember is that the whole camp is an audition process, not just your individual audition. They're going to be watching you in horn arc. They're going to be watching you in visual block. They want to see how you interact with other members. Show them that you want to be there and that you deserve a contract. When it comes to your individual audition, try to go in there like it's a job interview. Be as professional as you can. Go in there with the mindset of, Hi, my name is whatever and you're going to give me a contract, but don't be overly cocky. And that applies for the whole camp. No one's really going to care how good your high school band or your college band was. And again, if you have any questions, ask a vet or a staff member. And above all, be enthusiastic. Like, not everybody gets to try out for a drum corps. Even if you don't make it, you're still going to learn a lot over this weekend. If you don't make the core that you wanted to make initially, it doesn't mean you can't march this summer. There's always going to be other cores that you can try out for. So don't automatically give up if things don't go as you initially planned. If you do get a contract, congratulations, yay, start busting your butt. <laughs> Chances are they can take away that contract as easily as they gave it to you. Not to scare you, but just remember that that's just the beginning. If you get a callback, yay, start busting your butt even harder. Because that means that there's probably other people who got callbacks too, and they're looking at the same spot that you're looking at. Above all, just be prepared to your fullest extent for the audition. And I can tell you that it'll be incredibly worth it. I think that's all I had to say about that. If you have any other questions that you want to ask me about the audition process or anything else, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe if you want to. I'll probably be putting out more videos eventually. That's about it. Good luck at all of your auditions. And thanks for watching.